So the first signs of this actually came up when Google search, uh, searches on hair loss, they went up by almost 8% in just the last 12 months. And doctors started telling us that they're seeing a huge increase in patients who are shedding abnormal amount of hair. But what exactly is abnormal amount of hair loss? A lot of people lose hair regularly, but when does it get really alarming? Let's talk about that. Where hair loss typically starts after recovery in these cases, and it starts between six to eight weeks after a person tests positive. These are all signs, remember, we're picking up from doctors and experts that we have spoken to. In certain cases, it is being seen uh, to be quite extensive and severe as well. People have been known to lose up to 30 to 40 percent of their hair in some cases. And how do you identify this hair loss, really? Like I said, to understand this, let's give you a brief insight into what exactly is the life cycle of a hair follicle. All right? It basically has three. Up to 90% of your follicles at any given time are in the growing phase. About 50, like about 5% of the follicles are in the resting phase. And then with a certain amount of overlap, up to 10% are in the shredding phase. So this is a normal cycle of your hair. When this balance is disturbed is when excessive hair loss is to be noted. And that's when it really takes place. And that generally happens when your body gets into a state of shock. A state of shock leads to a body going into a flight and fight mode. But let's describe what exactly is this state of shock. And let's start that by giving you an example. You might have witnessed that you get hair fall when you get fever, when you get infection, post surgeries also sometimes, and even stress. That can send your body into a shock. And once it is in that state of shock, then the body only focuses on essential functions. So your hair follicles get into a resting phase of growth cycle, which means more hair will be falling compared to the ones that is growing. So once that is clear, let's try and see what are the kind of hair losses which are commonly being seen in post-COVID recovery patients. There are two kinds essentially that are now being talked about. We look into the telogen effluvian and the alopecia areta. Now, the first one is basically a form of a temporary hair loss that usually happens after stress, a shock, or a traumatic event. It usually occurs on the top of your scalp, and it is, like I said, temporary. So they begin for a couple of months because of a stressful experience, and then they subside automatically as well. Also, uh, now the telogen effluvium is different quite significantly from the other kind of hair loss disorder that we'll talk about, which is alopecia areta, which basically is a common autoimmune disorder, often results in unpredictable amount of hair loss. It can affect anybody regardless of age and gender. But in most cases, it is seen to occur before the age of 13. Now, what happens here is that the immune system attacks the hair follicles. It impacts patches of hair on your scalp in certain cases in your beard as well, in other parts of your body. And in some cases, it might need a treatment to be resolved. Some people and doctors prescribe steroids in that case as well. So you could be facing either of the two kinds of hair losses over here, two kinds of disorders.